In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Stripe account for an individual and I'm going to do it live on camera and explain everything that you need to do. So first you need to go ahead and go to Google and just do a Google search for Stripe and then head over to the website which is www.stripe.com. Now once you're here you can read a bit about Stripe and but for most of you you just want to scroll down and click on start now and that will take us to the sign up process. So here you can see we can get started quickly and we can join millions of businesses. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and enter in my email, my full name, my country and a password. And then once I've done that, I can now click here where it says create account. That's then going to take us to this window here where we now need to verify our email. So here is that email. I'm just going to click here where it says verify email address. And now we are in Stripe and everything is activated. Now what we need to do is go ahead and fill in our profile so we can start accepting payments. So if you don't do this, you won't be able to use Stripe, so there isn't much point. So go ahead and click on activate payments right now, and I'll run you through this process and what you need to type. So here it says, let's start with some basics. Choose your location and business type. So my business location is the UK, and I am an individual slash sole trader. Now, depending on where you're located, there might be different options here. But if you don't have an actual company set up, then choose individual or sole trader. So now I'll click on continue. Now we can enter in some very basic details like our legal name, email address, date of birth and our home address. So I'm going to fill this in right now. Now I've done that, I'm going to click on continue here and we can now tell them more about our business. So the VAT number is optional. Now, if you don't have a VAT number, then obviously don't enter it here. If you do and you have it on hand, I will go ahead and enter it. Now we can choose our industry. So you don't have to choose this exactly because you're not going to have an exact match here. Like I do YouTube and social media and I don't really think YouTube is going to fall under many of these categories. For me, I'm just going to choose software because it kind of matches. It doesn't have to be an exact match here. Just choose something relative and relevant to your business. Now enter in your business website. Now for me, I don't have a website, I have a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna link that. So I'm on my YouTube channel here. We can now go ahead and copy this link. I can go back into Stripe and I'll paste it in here. Now you can paste anything here. Like it says, if you don't have a website, enter a social media page, LinkedIn or any other relevant link. Basically you just link your project that you're working on. Then I'm here in the description, I'm just going to write something like, I create short how-to tutorial videos and rank them on the first page of YouTube. Okay, so now we've done that, we can now continue. So now we've got fulfillment details, describe how you fulfill orders. Now you can change this later, um, but it says here, provide your best estimate. I'm gonna say within one day because I, if I sell something, it's just gonna be a digital product which will be sent out instantly. So now I can click continue. So here we need to add a statement descriptor and a shortened descriptor. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what exactly is this? Well, a statement descriptor is just going to show on your, your customer's statement. So maybe I want to put here knowledge base because that is my YouTube channel. In shortened descriptor, it says here, you may provide more specific details about a charge with dynamic suffixes. I've just entered in YT here because I have a YouTube channel and it just keeps everything consistent. And then here where it says customer support phone number, you will need to enter in a phone number to continue. So enter one here and then obviously click on continue. Now you're going to need to connect Stripe with your bank account. So again, choose your currency and your country. Then here, all you need to do is enter in your sort code, your account number, and then confirm your account number. You can get this from your online banking or any bank statement. Then once you've entered them in, which should be pretty easy, you can then click continue. And now you can keep your account secure and set up two-factor authentication. Now here you can use an authenticator app. Um, you can add a security key or use SMS. I'm gonna use an authenticator app. So I'm gonna click on that. And it then should give me the option here to scan it in the Google authenticator app. If you just wanna keep it simple, you can use SMS. Um, but I change my SIMs a lot, so I, I like to use an authenticator app. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and scan it in my authenticator app. If you don't know how this works, then don't worry, just use SMS. But now I'm just going to enter the code that is on my authenticator app here. It now should give me a backup code, which I am going to save. 
and this is just going to be an extra layer of security. And then it's going to explain from now on when you sign in, you're going to need to use that two-factor authentication method. So I'm going to click on done, continue. And now we get to the VAT calculations. If you don't pay any VAT, you can just scroll down and click no thanks. If you do pay VAT, then obviously fill this form in. I'm going to click no thanks here. Now we can review and finish all of this information. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of this page. And from here, we can then agree and submit. And now it's going to say thanks for submitting. And it should then redirect you to your dashboard. Okay, so now we're in the dashboard and now we can start accepting payments. And you can do this in many different ways, which I'm not going to cover. You can go ahead and read these tutorials or watch more of my tutorial videos on Stripe on this channel. So I hope that video helps you up. I hope you go and sign up to Stripe and I'll see you in the next one.